and its compact size and easy carrying handle makes it great for our traveling PC. We have some upcoming trips coming soon. We're gonna build out this PC so we can take it on an airplane. This is our carry-on luggage. We're not looking to build anything fancy, just something usable while we travel. So we scrounged out some parts around the studio. So we found some RAM. We got an old M.2 SSD. ID cooling fans. The Gigabyte motherboard, AMD Ryzen 5. We're gonna try to fit this cooler in there. I forgot to show you guys the GPU. I'll be right back. GPU is my 3070.
so I think I realized I don't have enough storage on the system it only has a 500 gigabyte storage right now and I do need to put a lot of video files for my video editing so I went ahead and purchased another one terabyte SATA SSD so let's go ahead and get that installed packing time our flight is in a couple hours and I haven't packed the system yet the plan is to put that into a small suitcase and just kind of like carry it around with me and I also have some peripherals like mouse and keyboard so you'll get that one packed into the mini suitcase as well so let's go ahead and do a montage for that probably wondering why don't I just carry the suitcase by the handle well that thing is pretty heavy it weights about 8.8 .8 kilograms which is about this much and I don't want to just carry it around in the airport I'd rather have it rolling on the floor so I think that's easier for me I'll just put it in the suitcase it's easier A few moments later We have an exciting collaboration coming up with a local content creator and I'm super excited to share with you guys. We want to thank you for staying with us all the way till you made it to Malaysia. So stick around and we'll, we'll catch you in, in the, the next, next one. one. Catch you next one. <laughs> There's a big monitor lizard. Look at the monitor lizard. Oh, I think